Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice radio. So today, well, it's the release day of Celestial Storm. So what kind of a YouTube channel would I be if we didn't open a box of Celestial Storm? As always, huge shout out to the lovely people at chaoscards.co.uk for providing said booster box. And I'm going to tell you the same thing I tell you every time. Half a dozen different card shops over the last couple of years have asked if I want to partner with them for things of this nature. And I always say no. And the reason I say no is because there's only really one online card seller I use. It's Chaos Cards. I don't lie to you guys because, uh, well, if I don't treat you with respect, why are you going to watch the channel? Ergo, the only card shop that I'm going to partner with is Chaos Cards. Because they're the only ones I use in my personal life. So there we go. So we're really looking here for Rainbow Rare Rayquaza. That is the money card in this particular set. That's the one that everybody's after. Not to say that it's the only good card in the set. But it is to say it is the money card. And since there are 36 packs to open, I say we don't hang around all that much. We get straight into it. So we got ourselves a bit of the old love disc and a Trico and a Skitty and a Spinarak and a Baldum. Red Follow Lunatone. And the first good card is... Ooh, Swampert. I like Swampert. It's got a great ability. Just guard a card from your hand. Draw free. Now, admittedly... And then we got Rainbow Brush and a Tropius and a Marsh Stomp. Now, admittedly, Swampert is in the theme decks, right? So it's not like it's going to be the most difficult card ever to actually be able to get hold of. But it's still a pretty nice card. So not necessarily a huge amount of value in that. I did love getting a Marsh Stomp in the same pack. And it's not like we're going to, you know, make lots of money selling Marsh Stomps. But I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, or Swampert, still a nice card. So going on into pack number two, Chinchow, Metatite, Spoink, Electrike, Surskit, ah, I'm dropping them everywhere. Rev Hollow Lantern, and the next good card, Lunatone. Which, weirdly, did we not have a Rev Hollow Lunatone in the previous pack? I feel like we did. Yeah, there you go. So apparently in the first two packs, we got a Rev Hollow Lunatone, and a Hollow Lunatone. So, you know, somebody out there wants me to play Lunatone. Gonna be honest with you, it's not particularly a great card, but you know... Lunatone. Yeah. Lunatone. So, on to pack number three. We got ourselves a shove it. Mudkip. I did hear you like Mudkips. Torchic. Wisma. Cacnea. Rev Hollow Vigoroth. And. Deoxys. There is a good Deoxys in the set. It's the attack form that's got the same attack as the Evolutions. Mewtwo. And a Beast Ball's not bad. But it's not the speed form. I mean, look, the speed form has a hit and run attack, 20 damage for one psychic energy, flick to the bench. So with a choice band and weakness, you're hitting 100. It's not terrible, but generally speaking, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not a huge fan of the speed form. Sorry if that upsets you. So what do we get in pack number, I want to say four. Slugma, we're going to need that for a Macargo. Beldum, Lavatar, Whalmer, Bellsprout. Oh, Latias Prism Star. You all know this opening would have been rubbish if I hadn't pulled one of these. This got revealed on the actual birthday of my lovely baby daughter, the baby Daisy. And she was less than 15 minutes old when I started telling her about this card. This is the card for the baby Daisy. Drawing one is amazing. I am delighted. And then a Delmise. I'm going to be honest, right? Anything after the Latias Prism Star just seems like a little bit of a disappointment. Oh, I'm delighted. If I hadn't pulled one of them in this box, that would have been genuinely sad. Because it's Daisy's card. Like I'm, good, I'm trying to get a copy in every language to make a display for her room. Side note, if anybody can get their hand on other languages of Latias, do please let me know. Because I would very much like to take them off your hands. Sneasel I do like very much indeed. And we've got a gold pin, a Baldum. Reverse Hollow Last Chance Potion. Still think it should have been called Desperation Potion. And Kartana. And I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I quite like Kartana. 
You know, it does 130 damage if your opponent's not taken any prizes. It's not too bad. I don't think it's an amazing card. And I think when Max Elixir rotates out, it's going to get a lot worse. But I think in the short term, for the time being, I like it rather a lot indeed. So, what do we get? What do we get? Bit of the old slack off to start off with. And a Shuppet and a Tree Cut. I mean, we're going to get all of the commons, right? It's going to happen. Mudkip, Rev Hollow Mudkip, and Regice. Yeah. I mean, it's Stadium Lock, which is all right. But I'm going to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. It's not what I was looking for. Boo, hiss, sad face, etc., etc. Never mind. Alrighty then. What do we get? What do we get? So I haven't had any EXs, but you know, plenty of packs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I'll get an EX in this pack. So, bet the old low dad. Fampy! I love Fampy. I like the Don fan from this set as well. We get the other... So we've had both the bad Deoxys. Can we get the good Deoxys? Explode! Yeah, gonna be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. Not the biggest fan of the new Explode. It's just a bit meh. Hey-ho. As always, I can't put links to all of them. It would take forever. But all of the cards from this set, I have done videos. So if you just search on the channel, if you're thinking, oh, well, I don't know, Wossy, what does the Explode do? Can we have a look at it? If you just search Explode on my channel, you'll find a video about it. Any card from this set, except some of the pre-evolutions, you can find a video about it on this channel. You're welcome. Oh, so I wasn't even paying attention when I pulled it then. Macargo. You've got to like a bit of the old Macargo. Macargo is awesome. Search your deck for any card and put it into your hand. It's just amazing. It's going to be broken in Zoroark decks. It's going to see a huge amount of play. And Tay and Liza is going to see play. Only in the short term. But it only needs to see play in the short term. Sweet. What else we got in this bad boy, eh? Still no GXs and we're about a quarter of the way through the box. Time to start pulling some GXs. Bit of the old Spoink, bit of the old Electrike, bit of the old Surskit, nice little Onyx, Clampo. Rev Follow Acro Bike is always nice. And Burnett. Yay. Okay. Don't get me wrong, right? Oh, and another Tate and Liza. I am loving the Latias Prism Star we pulled. And it's my favourite card in the set. Even more so than the Don fan. That Latias Prism Star is always going to have more sentimental value for me than almost any other card. But I wouldn't mind pulling some GXs in this box. Of course, if I can pull a Rainbow Rare Rayquaza, all will be forgiven. Mudkit, Baltoy, Rev Hollow, Soul Rock, and... Clado. I mean, look, it's nice we've got a Baltoy and a Clado in the same pack. Things like that amuse me, but generally speaking here, meh. Fun fact, that minor was being mistranslated right up until, uh, well, really, the set came out. Still translations rolling around saying you can only discard one card from your hand. It actually lets you discard as many as you like. Yeah, I was just double-checking. I hadn't actually seen an English version of it yet, so I thought, you know, better check it out. And there we go. It was there. Right, come on. First GX in the box. We have a Larvitar. We have a Whalmer. Chin Chow. Metatite. Rev Hollow Love Disc. And... Regirock. I really like this Regirock in Expanded. You add a Choice Band, Strong Energy, Diancy Prism Star, and you're getting a one-hit KO on a Zoroark. You need a Beast Energy. Oh, and a Dunsparce and a Sky Pillar as well is not bad. You need a beast energy on a Boswell to get a one-hit KO on a Zoroark, and you can only play one of them in your deck. So I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, having, being able to do it for a strong energy, I think if Zoroark remains as good as it has been in Expanded, I do believe that Red Rock is going to see a fair bit of play in the Expanded format. Right, Rev Hollow Clampo, give me something good. Grumpig. I'm going to be grumpig if you keep giving me rares like that. All the packs, all, I do like Sableye, I do like Kecleon and Hustlebout is a bit interesting. But I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, all of the packs we've opened so far, one Prism Star, no GXs. Sometimes people open up boxes and one person gets one half and the other person gets the other half. If I was doing that right now, 
I would not be happy with my half a box. Although I'm seeing a hint of black border. What we got, what we got, what we got, what we got? Jirachi Prism Star. A lot of people not liking Jirachi Prism Star. Saying it's too awkward. Personally, I'm a fan. But I get why some people don't. And Registeel. On the upside, we've now pulled all three of the Reggies. On the downside, we pulled all three Reggies before we pulled a GX. Two Prism Stars, and I like the Prism Stars, but I'll tell you something for nothing, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, one a GX. All right, we've only actually got five packs left of this half of the box, which means we've opened 13 packs so far. Is that right? Does the mass add up? That doesn't add up at all. We've got five packs left, ten packs left. Yeah, 13. Okay, cool. Alrighty then, bit of the old Onyx, bit of the old Baggin, Bowsprout, fan base, don't know Don fan, Rev Hollow Underground Expedition, and Heatran. Yeah. I mean, as it stands at the moment, the story of this box is, it sucks. But that's okay, we got time. I do need a Don fan as well, in the absence of, um... In the absence of a Mammoth Swine, Don Fan will do. Don Fan does 10 damage for each damage counter on it. So, especially in Expanded when you add in a Focus Sash, so it can't be one hit KO'd. It's really quite nice. Plus, you know, it's Don Fan. I love Don Fan. Right. Torchic. Rev Hollow Torchic. Fun fact, not the same Torchic. And. Metacham. I'm doing the big reveal on all of them. For anyone asking why I don't do the trick where you put it to the back, don't like it. We all know they come after the reverse hollow, so why not just do it where you reveal after the reverse hollow? Maybe that's just me, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm cool with it. Alright. Can we get a GX in the first half of this box? That is the question now, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, it may well be that there's a Rainbow Ray Rayquaza in this half, in which case, we're cool. Bit of the old love disc. I wonder how many people have made love disc uh, templates, you know, the, the collages for their for their partners for like Valentine's Day and stuff. I'd wager a few. Let me know in the comments if you've ever done that. Slugma and Sizzle. Well, the good news is we finally got a GX. And it's not a bad GX. I like Sizzle GX. I like that you can KO most evolved Pokemon for colorless energy. And I like that it's a really good, efficient attacker in metal decks. It's no Rayquaza, but given that we were struggling to draw, pull any GXs, I'll take it. I will take it, and I do like Sizzle. When I played a little while ago, I did a couple of League, I did a League Cup with Zorok Garboda, and if I could have played Sizzle, I would have done, because it would have helped against Lycanroc, which was a matchup I, I just couldn't deal with. No, well, Boswell Lycanroc I could, because it didn't play double colourless, but Zorot, Lycan, Rock, that's nothing I could do. No options. Sad, but true. Alrighty then. Rev Hollow, Apricorn Maker, and... Manectric. Manectric's good. Now, you can get Manectric in some of the theme decks. So it's not exactly, you know, it's not going to carry too much in terms of value. But it's a nice little card. Does, you know, you can put it down at the beginning of your game. Like you can with Talonflame. So, I'm all in favour of it as a card. It's not a bad card, per se. But, it's one of those things you really want in your booster boxes to draw cards that you can't get easily in other places. Because, if you can just buy a theme deck to get it, there's a strong argument to just buy the theme deck. Alrighty then. Pat oh my goodness, I'm not paying enough attention. Rev Hollow Don Fan and Palisand GX. Now, to be fair, Palisand is not one of the best GXs in the set. Although I love the GX attack, despite the cost. But I've been waiting for a Don Fan the whole time. I finally get a reverse solo Don Fan and a Palisand. I'm too busy telling stories. That's a nice pack. If I'd have gone into a shop and paid 350 for that pack, I would have been delighted. And honestly, you know, no one cares about the other cards in the pack. Not after that. So we are halfway through our box opening, ladies and gentlemen. And what do we have? We have Latias Prism Star. Jurachi Prism Star. Sizzle GX. And Palasan GX. Had I bought half a box, I'd be disappointed right now. I would not be loving it. 
but that's okay. We are only half a box in. And given that that was the first half of the box, I feel extremely confident that the second half of the box is going to be a fair bit better. So, what do we got? Starting off with a Sneasel and a Shuppet and a Mudkip and a Beldum and a Bagon and a Metacham. I do like Kecleon, I do like Sableye. As for Metacham, no. Not only is Metacham, like imagine if you go into a shop, right, and you buy one pack of Pokemon cards. You're a kid and you've been bugging your mum all day and your mum goes, all right, Billy, I assume the kid's called Billy, all right, Billy, I will buy you one pack of cards. And that pack of cards has a Metacham in. You ain't gonna be happy. I've had two packs so far where the rare has been a Metacham. That doesn't fill my heart with joy. And I like having a heart that's filled with joy. So, Rev Hollow Burnett is alright. It's a rare, but it's not amazing. And Articuno GX. Okay, so the GXs are starting to fill out now. We've drawn three GXs in fairly quick succession. One could argue they're not the best GXs. But either way... Oh, and another Don fan! Sweet! Hey, Don fan. Sizzle, Palisand, Articuno, I mean, yeah. They're not the kind of GXs that are going to make me run from the shop screaming. But there could still be a Rainbow Rare Rayquaza. I mean, it probably isn't, to be honest. But a man can dream, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Slugma, Rev Hollow Bellsprout, and... Oh, it's a GX. It's a Rayquaza GX. Two packs in a row. So already, this half of the box has given us an Articuno GX and a Rayquaza GX. It's not a Rainbow Rare, but it is the best GX in the set. Argue, you could argue Stack Attacker, admittedly, but it's still a very good card. Nice. Nice, ladies and gentlemen. And then there's some uncommons there. So that's cool. We've just drawn Palisand, Articuno, and Rayquaza GX. We've now gone from where are my GXs, I can't draw any GXs. To having four of them. And Don fans coming out now as well. We weren't pulling any Don fan, but now we got a Don fan. So, already this half of the box is better than the other half. <laughs> Torchic, Onyx, Sneasel, Rev Hollow Bills Maintenance, and Dalmise. It's our second Dalmise from this box as well. Boo, Hiss, etc. And then a bunch of item cards. Well, hikers are supportive. You know what I mean. Trainer cards. Alrighty then. Wouldn't mind a stack attacker either. Stack attacker's a pretty good attacker. He's actually not. Uh, but he's got a great ability. Right, what do we got? Torchic. Shuppet. Mudkip. Bagon. Wismer. Rev Hollow Minen. And... Blaziken GX. The GXs are coming thick and fast. We're up to five now. This half of the box, we've had an Articuno, a Rayquaza, and a Blaziken. That's pretty cool. I'm liking this. Now all we need is a Rainbow Rare to kind of fill it out and finish it off. Weirdly, I've put all my GXs and Prism Stars off to the side. And I've put my Rev Hollow Don Fan there. Like, I'm thinking that Rev Hollow Don Fan is as cool as the GXs and Prism Stars. Arguably, I'm wrong. But I'm cool with it. All right, bit of the old bow toy. Wingull. Metatite. Seedot. Clampearl. Rev Hollow Seedot, because apparently one Seedot in this pack was not enough. And. Regice. A second Regice. I do like the Regis, to be fair. It's a shame down in Cornwall where I live, there's no one really to go on Pokemon Go raids with. Like my dad, but me and my dad together cannot take down a Regice. Or Reg yeah, it's very sad. When there's a Regi Rock going, I'm going to have to try and get a posse together. Because as much as I like the Regis, and I do, Regi Rock is like my boy. So I'm going to have to somehow get a posse together to go take down a Regi Rock. All right, Gulpin, Cacnea, Reverse Hollow Grumpig, and y'all ready for this? Ooh, Rainbow Rare Stack Attacker! Nice! I should say you're ready for this a bit more often. That's a nice pull. The first half of this box sucked. But the second half's awesome. 
Already in this half, we pulled Articuno GX, Rayquaza GX, Blaziken GX, and now a Rainbow Rare Stack Attacker. I am so glad this box was not split between two people. Because one of those people would be getting royally screwed. <laughs> I like that, ladies and gentlemen. I was starting to worry that all the GXs coming out was going to mean I wasn't going to pull a Rainbow Rare. We're now up to six GXs, one of which is a Rainbow Rare, and we've still got a bunch of packs to go. We are on a run, ladies and gentlemen. My box might have had a slow and sucky start, but it's kind of going nicely now. I'm a little bit excited. I'm a little bit excited. Alrighty then. Got a Whelmer and a Beldarm and a Spoink. Rev Hollow Trico and... Registeel. So now Regirock's the only Reggie we haven't got twice. Gonna be honest, ladies and gentlemen, after the pure joy of pulling a Rainbow Rare Stack Attacker, it, it's basically gonna take like a Rainbow Rare Rayquaza to kind of even it out. Although the other money card from this set is... um. Secret Rare, what am I talking about? Secret Rare, Rainbow Energy. That's the other kind of money card from this set. It's the second most valuable card after Rayquaza. All right, got a Lola Ratata, Wingull. Ooh, haven't had a Solgaleo yet. This is, along with Lunala, these were promos over in Japan a while ago now that never made it over here. They're not particularly good, but the fact they've been released is kind of cool. And I'm all in favor of it. And then some Moran and a Lombre and some other stuff. Not an amazing card, but it's kind of cool to pull one. Alrighty then. So after two GXs in the first half of the box, we've now pulled, and two uh, Prisms, we've now pulled four GXs, including a Rainbow Rare, in the second half of the box. Now, we can still get a Rainbow Rare Rayquaza. I wouldn't be upset. Maybe a Secret Rare Rainbow Energy? That'd be cool. Slugma. Larvitar, Revolo Weeping Bell, and you ready for this? Clado. We keep having like two packs that have got the same rare. We've had two Clado now, two Registeel, two Regice, two Metacham. They're not great cards. They're not the cards where you, you know, open a pack crossing your fingers, hoping upon hope that you will be greeted with the sight of them. All right. Can we keep this train rolling? Bit of the old Torchic, bit of the old Onyx, bit of the old Sneasel, bit of the old Bagon, bit of the old Baltoy, Rev Hollow Cacturn, and... Ooh, another Macargo. I have no problem with this. Now, you do get Macargo in the Swampert theme deck. I don't think it's in the Sceptar one. That gets Manectric instead. But you do get Macargo in the Swampert theme deck. So it's an easy enough card to get hold of, but it's still a great card. On the bonus podcast this week on patreon.com slash ptcgradio, which you should all check out, by the way. I think it's really good. I mean, I'm clearly biased, but, you know, called it. Somebody was asking me, what is the best non-GX, non-Prism star in the set? Now, if you want the full answer, you're going to have to go on and get the bonus pod. But if you want the short answer, it's Macargo. Simple as. All right, bag on and a shop it and a mud kip. Rev Hollow Swallot and Deoxys. Still haven't got an attack Deoxys. We've had two defense and a speed now, but attack Deoxys is the best of them, and we haven't had any of them yet. Would be nice to pull one. Although, to be honest, I've never been a fan of the Mewtwo from Evolutions as a counter for Buzzwire. I know a lot of people are. It's never been my bag personally. I can see why people do like it. But it's just never been my my thing. And cute. We need the map nice and clear so we can see what lovely cards we're getting. Rev Hollow Fisherman. And... Oh! <laughs> well, I did say we'd had two of the others and we hadn't had two Regirock. But that does mean that six of the packs in this box, or one in six of all the packs, have um have had the Reggies in. One could argue that's a bit much. Now, you could also, and I'm sure some of you have been noticing this, our kind of run is, is ending. We had this great run at the beginning of the second half of the box. We had this great run where we were drawing GX after GX after GX. That run does seem to kind of be over now. It's a Kyogre.
Yeah. It was a pre-release promo, so maybe you picked one up at a pre-release. I mean, it's fine. It's a decent little card. Fits nicely into Greninja decks, especially with stuff like Aqua Patch. And it works nicely with Counter Energy. Does 30 damage to your opponent's Pokemon. And yes, it is sometimes better than Latios. But, yeah, it's all right. And it's pretty. You know, Koja's pretty. Right, four packs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Can we have one more nice money card to really finish this off? So what do we get? Bit of the old Whelmer, bit of the old Beldum, bit of the old Spoink. Baltoy, Wingo, Rev Hollow, Beldum. Well, it's like several packs now where we've had the regular and the Rev Hollow in one pack. And it's like our third Grumpig. I think we've had two Grumpig and a Rev Hollow Grumpig. And we've got Spoink in the same pack. Eh, gonna be honest, I've, I've had enough Grumpig. Don't need any more Grumpig. Don't make me make another Grumpig pun. I will make another Grumpig pun. I'll be a Grumpig man. Ha! Went there. Alright, three packs to go. Can we get another nice card? Voltorb and Sneasel and Seedot and Gulpin. Rev Hollow Gulpin. It's happened again. And a Stack Attacker GX. Which will go very nicely with my Rainbow Rare Stack Attacker GX. Sweet. Well, now, here's a funny thing. Can anyone remember my um, Forbidden Light opening? If you can't, I mean, it's a video I did. Go check it out. It's, it's over there. It's on my channel. Because in that video, I pulled a couple of Naganadal. And now in this box, I pulled a couple of Stack Attacker. Somebody out there really wants me to play Naganade or Stack Attacker. And if you don't believe me, go watch my Forbidden Light opening. Because I got a Rainbow Rare and a, reg uh, and a Full Art. And then I've got a Rainbow Rare and a Regular from this box, a Stack Attacker. Somebody wants me to play Stack Attacker Naganade or Aura Corio and... Mr. Mime! Ha ha ha! Look, Mr. Mime's not a great card, okay? Choice Band basically kills it. But I was like, oh, can we have one more GX? You know, just to add these last three packs, just to finish it off. Oh, we got a Stack Attacker and a Mr. Mime. This might be the greatest comeback. Oh, and a Don's fan. In the history of box openings. Or to put it another way, the most lopsided box ever. This is officially a good box. I'm a happy boy. I'm a happy wussy right now. Oh, would it be too cheeky to want one more GX? I don't think it's going to happen. But a wussy can dream, ladies and gentlemen. A wussy can dream. Don Fan, Wingo, Rev Torchek. Final rare from the box is... Waylord. And I haven't had a Waylord yet. Uh, fun fact, we have a Waylord plush at home. Which is larger than my baby daughter. And my friend brought it back from Japan in their suitcase. I like Waylord. That'll do, ladies and gentlemen. That will do. Alrighty then. So if we review this box, it kind of changed around. And I wish I'd streamed this. I did accidentally stream at the start. So anyone that caught it, I apologize. I, um, I just didn't really have... Uh, very much time today I wasn't really I couldn't really stream unfortunately I didn't have it all set up to stream so I apologize if anyone thought I was being rude I, I promise you I was not so in the first half of the box we got a Latios Prism Star a Jirachi Prism Star a Palasan GX and a Sizzle GX not a great half of the box and then in the second half of the box we got a Blaziken GX we got a Mr. Mime GX we got an Articuno GX we got a Rayquaza GX. We got a Stack Attacker GX. And we got a Rainbow Rare Stack Attacker GX. This is not a good half of a box. This is a good half of a box. Overall, eight GXs, including one Rainbow Rare, Plus two Prism Stars, bearing in mind the best GXs are Rayquaza and Stack Attacker, and the best Prism Star is Latias, I'm calling that a win. It's not a five-wassy box. 
A five wall seat box would probably have to have a rainbow rare Rayquaza in. But I think we can call this a between four and five wassy box. We don't give wassy half wassies. That would be barbaric. First half of this box sucked. And I was not a happy wassy. I think this worked out quite well indeed. I hope you're all having a great Celestial Storm release day. I am now. I'm going to be uploading my buy list for Celestial Storm in just a few hours time. So do make sure you're checking out the channel for that. And I'm going to be doing my first Dragon Ball Super video in a while over at Wossy Plays. So do please make sure you check that channel out and check out that video. But for the time being, make sure you like this, ch uh, like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wassy. And Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that. Patreon.com slash PTCG Radio. I will answer all your questions. It's a lot of fun. I think you should check it out. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.